Uh, we haven't even gotten into Will Smith. So <laughs> it's a, it's been a topic. It's getting to the point where it's, it's, I know I said it, it's, it's time we had a discussion. And I saw your chat with Alana today uh, about Will Smith and the possibility there. Uh, more Dodgers talk. Uh, I want to do a deep dive on Will Smith's struggles because I'm at a point where I wonder if, and they're not going to take him off of the roster, but I'm wondering if there's better options. Cough, cough, Dalton rushing. Are for you the serious team. right now? Listen, we, we, I blew my load on this show already for good stuff tonight. So you got to make up good stuff for later. Take Will Smith off the roster. I'm about to take you off this show. Hey, look at Willie's numbers. They have been. It's fine, but you know what? For a hot minute. He has been one of the best hitting catchers in the game since he got called up. I don't want to hear it. You're being ridiculous. He's also hitting 182 over his last uh, since June 12th, 182 with uh, a 608 OPS. Your you mom can argue said 182 really. since June 12th. And I, it's not the craziest, most far fetched thing in the world to talk about a, a world where Will Smith isn't like you know not that guy, but you need to ensure that your offense is in a spot where you can afford to have Will Smith in there. Uh, but I still believe in everything he can do. It's just that there's nothing to show that it's just going to be a flip switch. Like yeah. he hasn't had those moments. Like he's been hitting the ball hard, uh, but it's just that he looks kind of lost. He really does. He, he's throwing guys out, but it's the fact that he looks uncomfortable at the dish. He looks lost. Those counts that he's been working in the past, when he gets blown down, he gets blown down. Uh, he just doesn't look aggressive. He doesn't look aggressive out there. And once you start nitpicking a strike zone and getting yourself into those spots, then you know you're in between at the plate and upstairs with your hands, your approach, everything. Yeah, yeah well, that's one of the I mean, the fact that they're changing this the stance at this point in the season, or that's not so much a stance, but it's hand placement, uh, it tells you they're really grasping at straws and trying to find something. I've I've maintained in, in uh, recent shows, recent you know, conversations about this that the bat just looks heavy. It looks like he's he's really struggling uh, to get that bat header around and we know when he's right when Willie is right he could spray the ball he can go all fields but the power is pull side and right now it looks like he's just very late on everything so this leads into biggest concerns heading into September and Will Smith is arguably my biggest concern for this team because he's just been kind of ass since what mid-June or something like that hitting well Long under time. 200 uh, OPS around uh, 600 or something like that just not good and when I threw it out on, on Dodgers territory earlier the, the idea I was I had no idea what tonight's show was going to look like I hadn't even talked to you about coming on at this point so I was like I just threw shit out a wall and was like hey you know Dalton rushing is doing pretty damn good uh, Calls, of course, I also understand they've been playing him in left field. Then all of a sudden, OKC gives me the gift of starting Dalton rushing a catcher for the I'm first playing. time um, at Triple A, and I'm like, oh, pieces are moving. We got a little bit of something here. Now, let's step back. Let's look at reality. No, the Dodgers are not going to have Dalton rushing starting at catcher for them in the postseason. They're just not. Even if he's the better hitter right now. Even if he's not, we don't know. We've never seen him as a big leaguer. It's more about the conversation of having some, you know, being uh, ready to, to make a move, having the the willingness to admit that, hey, you know what, if, if Will's not going to be a problem, Dave wants him batting fourth. He's not a four-hole hitter right now. He might be an nope. eight-hole hitter right now. Whatever it is to kind of help protect him, there's there's a problem. Will Smith is, if we're looking at one spot in the lineup, that's a clear problem. Like Edmund is still getting his feet wet. Will Smith is is the problem in this lineup right now. And I don't know how they fix that. Now, again, if you get a Dalton rushing, you're, you're playing with fire. This is the type of moves you make when you're playing MLB The Show by yourself and you have no yep. tie to these people. They're just characters. They're not humans. But this is a human being. You'd sign him to a 10-year deal. There's all of this crap that's attached to it. But... Again, Will Smith, probably not the best player on the roster right now, on the active roster. So it's a problem. It's a it's a the biggest concern again for me heading into September. He's got to do a lot to to make me feel better. Yeah, I said last night on our post game that I I think that you have to put him in at the seventh, eighth, or ninth <clears throat> until he shows, you know, a decent run here. Uh bringing up People brought up in, in, in the comments that he had some, you know, balls to the track. He's been hitting some, you know, balls hard. 
that doesn't do enough. Like it's not doing enough. I would think that at a certain point that, you know, just like they're doing with Daniel Hudson, a mental reset, uh, it for Will Smith, like, Will a mental reset help? Will it keep him in the rhythm? Is he losing them games himself? I mean, I would say a 37 WRC plus in the second half, uh, you know, a a line of 152 batting average, 261 on base, and a slug of 212. (coughs) We were talking originally at the beginning of the year about this being a a guy that makes it the big four and then went to Oscar to big five. So, And rightfully so at that point. He was the guy. Yeah. Yeah. And there's some, you know, this will have to be looked at. I'm sure that, you know, people know way more than us and, you know, in the Dodgers organization, they're going to try to figure this out in the off season. Uh, But for the moment, it's definitely, it's worth noting that the Dodgers have done it in the past. They've done it with Yasmani Grandal. Austin Barnes has taken reps down the thing. And I know they didn't have big franchise ties to Will Smith. He didn't have nearly this, you know, the magnitude of hits that Will Smith has had. And I don't think it's something that they would do just because of Will Smith has been there and done that. The playoff pedigree, the meaningfulness to the staff, I don't think they'll do it. Uh, But to save him for this last month, either you give him a breather, a mental reset for, you know, a little bit while the rosters expand, whether they're going to find a way to do it that way, if that helps, you've got to explore it. But right yeah. now, he's a he's been a net negative. He's been a big time yeah. net negative. At the very least, he's been saving base runners. Yeah, uh, them out. you know, if he's going to be that a guy that's just a catch and throw guy, that's fine. I mean, they survived in twenty with Austin, like you were alluding to there. Austin starting, you know, the lion's share of games down the stretch uh, during the postseason. There, they can get away with that, but. You know the the expectation and the importance that Will has gained in his years, or especially over the last two years in this Dodgers lineup. To have somebody who was your you know opening day cleanup guy all of a sudden not having importance in your lineup later in the season, um, it's just it's it's kind of one of those tough pills to swallow. He so, was one of those best. He was one of the best hitters in Major League yeah. Baseball against lefties, and he's the Dodgers are facing one of the most mid lefties in Major League Baseball, and he's not in there. I'm okay. I mean, I okay. There's just so many different paths I want to go with this. Yes, I agree. He needs a rest. He d- he does need a mental reset. Um, the fact that the this team is unwilling to play Hunter Fiducia at any point tells me they're not willing to let Will get right. Um, we've seen it. I've I've talked about it a number of times online over the last couple of months with with catchers. This is what happens. You, you get tired. You break down. In the offseason, you have all of this time to do your work, do your strength training, um, get yourself ready for opening day for spring training, you know, hashtag best shape of my life. You show up there, but then the season happens. You, you get beat up in the season. You have meetings. You have, you know, game meetings and all this pitch planning, uh, game planning meetings. Um, you don't have all this time to invest in yourself, to invest in the workout. Plus, Will is a dad with another kid on the way. Uh, there's only so much that Kara can do without him. Kara can do yeah. without him. However you say it, I forget. Will is beat up. He's tired. He's not as strong as he was six months ago. And all of that leads to this hodgepodge of being a problem in the lineup with a couple of days before the start of September. So you give them, if you give them a week, if they give them, like you said, which I, I really like the, the kind of comp there, give them the Dan Hudson break. If he were to just not play for a few days while he works on his swing and mental reset and whatever it is, I'm fine. If that means, you know, the final week and a half, two weeks of the season and into October, he's something closer to what we saw in the first half. I don't expect, you know, opening day or, you know, the first two months, Will Smith to suddenly reemerge. But if he's something closer, if he's not a problem, that's what this team needs. Again, this is just if I'm calling out one big concern heading into September, it's Will. And they have the opportunity to get him, try to get him right at least. It'll be, it's, a, it's another position, you know, chat us. It's. I'm glad we don't have to make those decisions, but we'll definitely <laughs> look at them when they do. Uh, I I'll sit and you know die on the hill that I don't think they'll do anything barring there's an injury. Uh, you know rosters expanding. What they're going to do there? If Dalton Rushing is going to get a call, if they're going to find him some run in Major League Baseball and get some at bats for him somewhere, try to you know run with that sense. I'm not sure, but Will Smith is a a, a key point for the lineup, and the reason we bring it up is that I am bringing it up from the sense that. They're going to need him 
in October, not from a sense that they need to find a way to get him out of here for, you know, yeah. for a bit. That's the way I'm looking at it, that they have to find a way to get him right rather than they have to do a way to fix the problem that he's they're going to have to remedy uh, with someone else. And that's different. That's different from the, what we were talking about with bench guys, because the bench, it was just about bringing the bar where it was at, where it was yeah. down here. You have to bring it more towards here. You got to bring it up a little bit, just a tiny bit, because it was, you know, last year, second half, Will Smith had a 90 WRC plus a little bit below league average. You can live with that. If your defense is picking things up, you can live with it. Some timely hitting. But right now he's not doing either. Yeah. You know, defense is throwing guys out. But you a, a mental lapse like last night that looms was, even larger uh, when the it's stuff at the plate is not working out. Uh, and then we talk about it. Now it's OK. There might be some stuff going on here that it's going to take more than just, you know, running him out there every day to figure out. Uh, I think that I, I would I would love if they were able to find some rest for him, find some way to get him a reset somewhere. Uh, and if it's mechanical, I hope it figures out quick because they need him, buddy. Yeah, absolutely. Pin Sanity, uh, good question. Interesting question here. Um, how beat up can you get by late May, though, or you know, even into early June? How How can you get so tired and so beat up? Well, he plays a lot. Will Smith plays a lot of baseball, and that kind of ties to the fact that he has been that guy who they've looked at as their number you know, four guy, and as they were missing pieces in the lineup or the lineup was struggling, they're trying to maximize everything they have in that lineup uh, to try to win that day's ball game. And that means, hey, Will, sorry, your name's back on the scorecard. You better get your ass out there. And this comes to they need – a, if, if Will's your 1A, they need a 1B. They need somebody they feel confident enough to also roll out there you know, twice, three times a week, maybe th- more, more like three times a week, just so Will doesn't get burnt out. Like You're going to have him around for a long time. And you, What did you say? Second half last year, 90 WRC plus. Not bad, not anywhere near as terrible as he's been in the second half of this year, but still, he's showing that he wears down, and if he is your four-hole guy, and all of a sudden your four hole guy is not productive in October. That's where we keep, where we can keep seeing these issues of, you know, str- uh, struggles with run production in the most important series, the the shortest series of the yeah. of the October uh, thing, as people call it. And then you keep having these problems, and then we keep having the off season shows of what are they going to do? Oh, are they going to fire Dave Roberts and all this kind of crap? Uh, Will needs a little help. He needs a little more help to not just completely wear him into the ground. So maybe he can keep up on, you know, his workout, his regimens, all this kind yeah. of stuff and stay healthy and stay right and then be ready to go in October. His uh, So if you look at his game stuff, I'm glad, you know, you gave me a little runway to pull this up. Like, you know, so through June, like through May, the end of May. Uh, right at the beginning yeah. uh will smith i think was fourth in uh games played appearances right there uh alongside the top guys like salvador perez william Contreras, uh adley rushman all right there in terms of games played dodgers kind of figured it out uh when after june that he needed a break because then that's when the you know the, the those at bats started to come down a little bit uh and they started to find some manufactured rest for him uh but still even with this time they've been finding a way uh, or he's been finding a way to not improve at the plate. Uh, and it's been a career fall off for him at the moment. It's been the worst we've seen. Uh, I don't know. I've seen some people bring up that. Is he too slender? Is he too small of a guy <laughs> to be behind the plate? Does he need to put on a little bit? Uh, but there's definitely something there where you might need a, a backup catcher yeah. that has a little bit more of a <clears throat> little bit more upside. You yeah. might have to find a nice little timeshare uh, behind the dish here, like the Atlanta Braves have. They've you've got two Thank big you. time options, you know, in Sean Murphy and uh, Travis Darno. That you know, at times they can be you know game changers in the lineup. Are, is, are the Dodgers getting to a point where they need to find a catcher? Could be Dalton Rushing, uh, where you find you know a little bit of a timeshare back there. It, it could be. And this is where the Dodgers are already kind of grooming that next guy who has multi-positioned optionality with Dalton Rushing, who uh, I think there's a lot of folks who think he's a a can't-miss kind of dude. And if he can become a quality enough game caller and catcher and all this that goes with it while having the bat and having the ability to play left field, you know, for an outfield that beyond this season – the picture is kind of bleak. You don't know what Mookie's gonna, uh, where he's gonna end up. You don't know if uh, Teoscar Hernandez is gonna resign. You know Tommy Edmonds gonna be around for one more year, but what are they gonna do with him? Um, 
you kind of have that situation there where maybe uh, if Dalton Rushing is getting some, getting a chance in or in in spring training to be, uh, you're going to get a look. Maybe you can steal the left field job, or maybe you know you could be the backup if if Austin doesn't come back. Then all of a sudden you have uh, you're in a much much better spot than you've been uh, over the last couple of years in the the post grand. Uh, not even they have not really ever. This club has not experimented with two good catchers um with all due respect to austin barnes yeah so wherever however they do go that way uh like i said i'll reiterate that this is more so trying to figure out a way to get will smith back on track and that's the knowing what the front office has done in the past i don't think it's a yasmani grandall situation he was dealing with some things off the field uh that people should give him a lot of leeway for uh with you know the one yeah. postseason i think it was 20 2018 i'm not sure which one uh but this season, I think it's a way that they've got to find how to get Will Smith right rather, rather than finding a way to replace his production and get somebody else in there. Uh, and I'm going to stand on that. I'm going to stand on business with Will Smith. That That's how they're going to have to roll with it. Uh, but again, put him in the bottom third, get him some, you know, get him some lower leverage stuff there uh, because I still believe in some at-bat quality uh, that when he taps into it, something's going to click and then we might see a run because he's a professional hitter. He's been on the biggest stages. Uh, it's, it'd be a different thing if he's never done it before, but he certainly has. Uh, back of the baseball card, Clint, you've heard me just toss that cliche round and round on, <laughs> on, this, on this one for sure. Uh, and people in chat will agree that I don't know how far they go uh, if Will Smith's not a part of it uh, in tandem with the, you know, the guys at the top of the order. 